I want to show you that right now the main character can kill himself. How? By basically running into its fireballs. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to throw a fireball. So as you can see, the fireball doesn't go very fast. So we should make it faster so that um, it shouldn't touch your own player. But we want to introduce the concept of team. Let me show you why. Right now I'm going to shoot and I'm going to go into my fire into my own fireballs. Check this out. Well, somehow I can't, but there you go, you see? So what I need to do now is create a player identifier so that whenever the player fires a firebolt, we know that the firebolt belongs to that player and not to another player, which is also called friendly fire, which is a great way to create teams. All right, having said so, I'm going to go in the project and under the Iron Man folder, I'm going to create a new script, C sharp script, and I'm going to name it player ID. All right. And then I'm going to open it and I'm going to start working on it. Now, what we want here is basically creating a unique ID and it's a script that we're going to attach to the Iron Man prefab. So first of all, make sure you attach the script. That's very important because sometimes we just forget. So I'll take the Iron Man prefab, drag and drop it here, then click on add component and add the player ID. All right. And now apply. And now you can remove the Iron Man prefab. Okay. All right. Now, going back to the script, what we want to do here is make sure that we get a unique ID. So let's create that variable up top. Public string player unique name. All right. And what we want to do also is that um, we want this name to be able to be used in all around on every client, so on the server and every client. So we need to turn this into a, a network sync var. But to do so, we gotta introduce the networking, right? So using Unity Engine dot networking, all right, and turn this into a network behavior. All right, so let's sync var this. Right, so that will synchronize that. Perfect. And then we want to create a unique ID. The best way to create a unique ID is to use the network identifier for each player. Um, each player have a unique identifier that's for the server so that the server can see who is which character, right? So we're going to use the field. It's called, uh, it's called the network instance. So private network instance ID. And let's call it player net ID because it's for the internet. All right, for the network. All right, and uh, then we we want to initialize this. To be able to initialize this, we can initialize that whenever the new player comes into the game, and the new player comes into the game with a specific Unity network method called on start local player. So let me, let me just write it down. Public override void and that would be on start local player now somehow the autocomplete does not appear but it might appear on yours okay and what do we do here so when the player starts to do um, we need to do two things we need to uh, get the um, network ID and we need to set the ID the ID of the player. Okay, so we're getting the network ID and we're creating the um, the player ID. So let's create two functions. So get net net identity, and then so obviously we we don't have it yet, but we're going to create it and then set identity. All right. Okay. So now that we have this, we got to work on that. So. Let's do the get net identity right after the void update. So void get net identity. And by the way, this will only run on the client, meaning that you can only get the player identity on the uh, on the the place that it got uh, spawned, and it's, it got spawned on only it, it the client. So the this can only be run to the client. So this has to become a command. So. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's on the client by adding client on top of that. All right. And what do we do here? 
where we say that the player net ID receives the network instance ID, which is get component. Since it's a network behavior, it has the network identity that we added earlier. You guys remember we added the network identity to the to the player, to the element player, then we can use it here. Dot net ID. So we did not have to create that, but that's created automatically for us whenever we add a network ID. A network identity. Alright. Now we're going to um, what we got to say now, once we have the uh, identity, we need to make sure that every client, so we need to send it to the server so that all the other clients get it. So we need to, to do tell all the clients about the player ID. All right? So how do we do this? Well, we get to create some kind of a command. So the command, let's call it CMD tell server tell server my identity I said my identity because it's this player identity all right and then um, we got to create some kind of an identity here okay so that would be a uh, identity it's not done yet so that's to do okay all right but obviously we got to create this method so I'm going to create it right below there's going to be a command so that we can send it to the server and that would be void command tell server my identity and we gotta work on that so to do but before we do so we gotta create the set identity right so let's go ahead and do that right here